History at Home, bringing the museum to you. This walking cane, made to look like a snake, was purchased in England in 1925 and comes to us from Barker Street School in Niagara Falls. The curved piece of wood has been covered with the skin of two snakes. Originally described as cobra, the skin might actually be that of Ontario's eastern milk snake, northern water snake, or fox snake. The thrill of a venomous snake and wanting to be able to hold one, or something resembling one, is understandable. Niagara Falls was once home to some rather famous rattlesnakes, located in the rocky Niagara River Gorge. Folklore tells about timber and Massasauga rattlers numbering in the hundreds, with some said to be longer than the human body. Rattlesnakes held spiritual and medicinal importance to local indigenous communities since time immemorial, and they could also be a food source. Archaeological work has documented potential bone findings at 15th to 16th century neutral sites near the Niagara Escarpment. With the arrival of Europeans, loss of habitat and persecution, including introduction of the pig as a predator, has led to the eradication of rattlesnakes in the Niagara Gorge. Although regular stories of rattler encounters still occur today, the last photographic evidence seems to be in photographs from 1941 held by the Royal Ontario Museum. Timber rattlesnakes no longer survive in Ontario, and a small number of Massasaugas are known to live in Wayne Fleet Bog Conservation Area of the Niagara Peninsula. <laughs>